Hello and welcome to the next episode of my channel where I'm going to take up a lesson called the third level from the Vistas book of class 12th. This story is written by Jack Finney and it is a science fiction. The protagonist or the main character of the story, that is Charlie, enters the third level of the Grand Central Station at New York. Now this is highly fascinating because there was no third level. There were only two levels to the station. Even the president, even the architects could have claimed it that there is no third level. So when he reaches home, he tells about the same to his friend and according to his friend, Charlie was not happy with his life and that is why he was imagining things. Listening to this, Charlie's wife, Loisa, gets very angry. But then Sam explains to her that because there was insecurity and problems all around in the world, as this story was set up in the time of World War, Charlie wanted a refuge. Charlie wanted to escape from the reality. And Charlie says, uh, Sam says this to everybody, all of his friends and all of them agreed. Charlie had one more habit or particularly a hobby to collect stamps. Now, the hobby of collecting stamps is known as philately, which was again a refuse from reality. But then Charlie debates that this habit he had inherited from his grandfather. And during his grandfather's time, there was no tension, there was no worry. So why did he collect stamps? Anyways, this all happened one summer night when Charlie was getting late uh, to his home. And he went to the first, first he went to the first level of the station from where the trains like the 20th century left. Then he went to the second level where the trains the subways left but as usual Charlie got lost according to Charlie the Grand Central was like a tree just like a tree gets new branches almost every day the Grand Central had many many corridors and often Charlie got lost in them once he had found himself in a hotel once in some other building so this time as well, Charlie got lost and instead of reaching the second level, he reached the third level. First he thought that he was on the second level itself. But then he saw some things which made him believe that actually he was not on the second level. He was somewhere else. He saw that the floor was wooden. He saw that there were gas lights, dim open gas lights. He saw people who were dressed in old-fashioned clothes, ladies who were wearing long skirts, old-fashioned long skirts. And then he saw a locomotive which had a funnel-shaped stack and immediately he understood that he had gone to the past. To make himself more sure about it, he looked at the newspaper and what he saw really puzzled him. Because the newspaper, the date on the newspaper was June 11, 1894. That was before his grandfather. That was before the World War. So Charlie immediately went to the ticket window in order to buy tickets to go back to his hometown, that is Galesburg, Illinois, where his grandfather had spent his childhood which was a very, very peaceful place. The clerk the ticket at the ticket counter then counted the money and told him the fare, how much he needed. Now, Charlie wanted two tickets. That was very thoughtful. One for himself and one for his wife. But when he handed over the money at the ticket counter, the ticket counter gave him a very deadly scare. The problem was... Charlie was giving him the currency of the present time which was which did not exist during the past and Charlie would have been punished 
would have been captured, arrested for the same on the charge of counterfeit. And that was that. He left it. He left the station as it is that day. But after that, he was never ever able to find the third level. The next day, he had also tried to exchange his currency to the old currency, which actually, because of which, actually, Charlie had to incur a loss. But still, he thought that in the olden days, things were cheaper, so it didn't matter. He went back looking for the third level with the changed currency. But he was never ever able to find that place. Most of the evenings he used to go to the Grand Central looking for the third level. Finally, he got tired and he stopped looking for it. But then, one day something happened which changed his belief forever. His friend, his psychiatrist friend disappeared and nobody knew where he was. One day, when Charlie was going through his stamp collections, stamp collections of his grandfather, he found a first day cover by Sam. Now let me tell you what is a first day cover. People who are fond of collecting stamps, they take an envelope, stick the first stamp issued on that in that particular year and mail it to themselves. As in, to, to say keep it with no letter. But this first day cover was not empty. It had a letter, a letter written by Sam in which he had written that after Charlie told him about this third level, he too started looking for it and finally he has got the third level and he has reached Galesburg because Charlie used to praise Galesburg a lot about how peaceful it was, how nice life was in Galesburg. Next day, Charlie came to know that Sam had exchanged a lot of money into the old currency so that he could start his profession fresh in Galesburg in the year 1894 because in Galesburg in 1894 there was no need for a psychiatrist, no need for a doctor to uh, cure mental illness because there was no mental illness in those days. People were very, very happy. There was no insecurity. Now, the big question is, did the third level really exist? No, absolutely not. Charlie was so fed up with his life. Charlie was so fed up with the insecurities in the world that everything existed in his mind. There was no third level. The Grand Central was just a means of refuse for him where he could escape from reality. Now you would ask, where did Sam disappear? If there was no third level, where did Sam disappear? Sam did not disappear anywhere. Everything was happening in Charlie's mind. But it is not mentioned in the chapter. How did I come to know? The answer is very simple. The train, the ticket counter, where Charlie went to buy the ticket. Why was the train only going to Galesburg, the place where he wanted to go? Or why was the year in the newspaper 1894? Why not any other year? Because that is the year before World War where Charlie wanted to go. So everything existed only in Charlie's mind. Because he, he was fed up with his life. He was fed up with the world. Now this little summary in Hindi for your better understanding. Charlie naam ka ek vekti ne dawa kiya that ki wo third level, grand central ke third level mein pohunch chuka hai. Jabki third level exist hi nahi karta hai. Third level hai hi nahi. Grand central ke sirf do level the. तो जब उसने ये बात अपने साइकैट्रिस्ट फ्रेंड को बताया उसके साइकैट्रिस्ट फ्रेंड का कहना था क्योंकि वो अपने लाइफ से इतना थक चुका था कि वो ये सारी चीजें इमेजिन करने लगा था ये बात सुनकर चार्ली की वाइफ बहुत गुस्सा हो जाती है क्योंकि उसे लगता है कि सैम इनडायरेक्टली उसकी तरफ पॉइंट कर रहा है कि उसने चार्ली का लाइफ डिफिकल्ट बनाया है 
बट चार्ली ने ये क्लियर किया क्यों क्योंकि पूरी दुनिया में बहुत इनसिक्योरिटी है बहुत हेटरेड है बहुत पेन है क्योंकि वो जमाना थर्ड लेवल का था इसलिए चार्ली वहां से भागना चाहता है और इसीलिए चार्ली की एक और हॉबी है जो कि है स्टैंप कलेक्शन जिस तरह उसके दादाजी किया करते थे बदन चार्ली का कहना है कि दादाजी क्यों स्टैंप कलेक्शन करते थे उनके जमाने में तो कोई पेन नहीं था कोई इनसिक्योरिटी नहीं था ये उस दिन की बात है एक शाम जब चार्ली को घर पहुंचने में देरी हो रही थी वो स्टेशन जाता है और हमेशा की तरह स्टेशन में खो जाता है क्योंकि स्टेशन में बहुत सारे कॉरिडोर्स हैं वो खो जाता है और खुद को थर्ड लेवल में पाता है चार्ली के हिसाब से ग्रैंड सेंट्रल बिल्कुल एक पेड़ की तरह है जिस तरह हर रोज पेड़ में नए नए ब्रांचेस निकलते हैं उसी तरह ग्रैंड सेंट्रल के बहुत टनल्स बहुत कॉरिडोर्स हैं जिसमें वो हमेशा खो जाता है कभी वो खुद को एक होटल में पाता है कभी वो खुद को किसी दूसरे बिल्डिंग में पाता है और आज खुद को थर्ड लेवल में पाता है पहले उसे लगता है कि वो सेकेंड लेवल पे है पर जब उस लेवल में वो देखता है कि पूरा पूरे लोग जो है वो अजीबो तरीके से ड्रेस्ड अप है पुराने जमाने के जैसे फ्लोर जो है वो वुडन है ओपन गैस लाइट है और वो एक ट्रेन देखता है जो सिर्फ पुराने जमाने में चलती है उसे शक होता है कि वो पुराने जमाने में आ चुका है और तब वो न्यूज़पेपर में ईयर भी देखता है जिसमें लिखा है 1894। वो तुरंत टिकट काउंटर जाता है और टिकट खरीदने की कोशिश करता है खुद के लिए और अपनी वाइफ के लिए क्योंकि उसे हमेशा मन रहता है कि वो गेल्सबर्ग वापस चला जाए उस पुराने जमाने में जब लाइफ में कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं थे कोई इनसिक्योरिटी नहीं था पर वो जैसे अपने रुपए को काउंटर पे देता है टिकट काउंटर वाला जो बंदा है वो उसकी तरफ बहुत गुस्से से देखता है क्योंकि उसे लगता है कि चार्ली उसे नकली नोट दे रहा है और चार्ली वहां से तुरंत भाग जाता है दूसरे दिन चार्ली अपने नोटों को पुराने करेंसी में चेंज करता है जिससे उसे बहुत घाटा भी होता है 300 के बदले उसे 200 ही मिलते हैं उस करेंसी में बट फिर उसे लगता है क्योंकि पुराने जमाने में सारी चीजें सस्ती थी तो उसके लिए कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगी और वो वापस से थर्ड लेवल खोजने जाता है बट थर्ड लेवल बिल्कुल नहीं है वो कभी भी थर्ड लेवल खोज नहीं पाता है कुछ दिनों के बाद वो खोजना बंद कर देता है पर तभी अचानक उसका दोस्त जो कि सैम जो उसका साइकेट्रिस्ट है वो गायब हो जाता है किसी भी, भी पता नहीं है किसी को भी पता नहीं है कि सैम आखिर है कहाँ और एक रात जब चार्ली अपने स्टैम्प कलेक्शन के थ्रू जा रहा है उसे ऐसे ही वो देख रहा है अपने दादाजी के कलेक्शंस को देख रहा है अचानक उसे एक फर्स्ट डे कवर मिलता है जो सैम ने भेजा है उसके दादाजी के एड्रेस पर अब ये फर्स्ट डे कवर क्या होता है जो भी लोग स्टैम्प कलेक्शन स्टैम्प को कलेक्ट करते हैं वो लोग खुद के पते पे स्टैम्प चिपका कर भेज देते हैं फर्स्ट डे जिस दिन वो स्टैम्प निकला एज अ कलेक्शन लेकिन उसमें कोई भी लेटर नहीं होता है बस वो एक ऑनवलॉप होता है बट ये ऑनवलॉप खाली नहीं है इसमें एक लेटर है जो सैम ने 1894 में लिखा है उसके दादाजी के एड्रेस में और आज जब वो अपने दादाजी के स्टैम्प कलेक्शन को देख रहा है उसमें चार्ली सॉरी सैम का भी लेटर है जिसने जिसमें उसने चार्ली को लिखा है कि जिस दिन चार्ली ने उसे बताया कि थर्ड लेवल है उस दिन से उसने भी थर्ड लेवल को खोजना शुरू कर दिया था और थर्ड लेवल उसे फाइनली मिल गया और वो आज गेल्सबर्ग में है 1894 में और वो काफी खुश है वहां और चार्ली को पता चलता है कि उसने अपने पैसों बहुत सारे पैसों को पुराने करेंसी में चेंज कर लिया है क्योंकि गेल्सबर्ग में उसे अब नया कोई प्रोफेशन नया कोई काम शुरू करना पड़ेगा क्योंकि गेल्सबर्ग 1894 में साइकेट्रिस्ट की कोई जरूरत नहीं थी लोग बहुत ही शांति पूर्वक रहते थे तो इस कहानी से हम यही सोच जानते हैं कि थर्ड लेवल बिल्कुल एग्जिस्ट नहीं करता था ये सिर्फ चार्ली के दिमाग में ये सारी कहानी चार्ली के दिमाग में चलती है ये हम कैसे जानते हैं क्योंकि उस स्टेशन से ट्रेन सिर्फ गेल्सबर्ग को जा रही थी और न्यूज़पेपर में भी ईयर 1894 ही था कोई और ईयर नहीं बस वो साल जब चार्ली वहां जाना चाहता था 
थर्ड सॉरी वर्ल्ड वॉर से पहले इसका मतलब यही है कि थर्ड लेवल बिल्कुल भी एग्जिस्ट नहीं करता था चार्ली इतना थक चुका था अपनी जिंदगी से चार्ली इतना थक चुका था लाइफ में वर्ल्ड में प्रॉब्लम्स देखकर कि वो किसी तरह वहाँ से एस्केप करना चाहता था थ्रू द ग्रैंड सेंट्रल स्टेशन थर्ड लेवल ऑफ द ग्रैंड सेंट्रल स्टेशन Please do like and subscribe and let me know if you have a question if you have a doubt regarding the same thank you so much for subscribing my channel thank you and have a good day